Hi Pearls, it's Dr. Mimi Guarneri. Happy Heart Month. We wear red for Heart Month as a reminder that it's Go Red for Women, which is to remind all of us that cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of morbidity and mortality in women. And we are very focused on that here at Pacific Pearl. Uh, we will be doing a lecture from the La Jolla Community Center on February 16th as well as an Instagram uh, meeting tomorrow morning at 8.30, all of which uh, will be available to you and you will have the links for any of those events. We have been busy bees here at the Pearl making sure that all of you get vaccinated and with the few exceptions, very few, I think pretty much every uh, member of Pacific Pearl has now had a vaccine. Uh, we have two vaccines right now, both Pfizer and Moderna. They are messenger RNA vaccines and they are available. So please let us know. These are the questions I'm receiving. The first is, can I get COVID-19 from the vaccine? The answer is no, a resounding no. This is not a live virus. It's not even a dead virus. You cannot get COVID from this vaccine. The second question I get is, can I take Motrin, Aleve, Advil before I take the vaccine? There's no clear research that any of these products interfere with the ability of the body to make antibodies. One small study in mice suggested that the antibodies were lower in people that took ibuprofen, which is like taking Advil. Other studies using the Oxford vaccine have shown absolutely no impact on the immune system. If you can avoid taking anything before your vaccine, that's the preferred way to go. What do you do if you have a problem after the vaccine? It won't be a big problem and it won't last long. If you have some discomfort in the arm, you can put a warm compress on it, cool compress, or do what I did, which was jump into my ice cold swimming pool and move my arms. Of course, you can take some Tylenol or Advil if those are normally things that are okay for you. In addition, because we are Pacific Pearl, we have a whole host of homeopathic remedies which actually work uh, for viral as well as for vaccination symptoms. So please call the front desk, 858-459-6919 and tell us that you need some help uh, with vaccine symptoms or you're concerned, and we will put together a protocol just for you. So remember, we have protocols to uh, help calm the virus down for when people are sick, as well as for recovery. So you know how to find us if we can help you in this regard. The other question I get is, how long am I protected from the vaccine if I've had COVID? Answer, we don't really know. This varies from person to person. Some people have antibodies for nine months. Some people may have antibodies longer or shorter. We do not know. If you're curious about whether or not your vaccine worked, uh, or you wanna go on a big trip, uh, you can come in and have antibodies done and we can tell you whether or not you have antibodies after you have been vaccinated. That is possible to do. Uh, we still recommend that everyone wears their face mask, practices social distancing, and avoids crowds even after they are vaccinated. And it takes weeks for those antibodies to be made. So keep that in mind. The next question I get is, I've already had COVID, so what should I do? Should I have the vaccine? The answer is yes, you should absolutely have the vaccine. Do I have to wait 90 days? You have to wait 90 days if you've had COVID and you received one of two things. If you received convalescent serum or if you received a monoclonal antibody as treatment for your COVID, you have to wait 90 days before you get the vaccine. Otherwise, you are free to get the vaccine when your turn comes up in the queue. So please ask us if you have any questions. Finally, I'd like to just close with the concept of 
the heart because heart month is near and dear to my heart. Uh, remember that the heart is more than a physical pump. We have an emotional heart, a mental heart, and a spiritual heart. And I hope that not only this month, but for all the months that follow, that we practice the principles that keep our heart whole. And these include things like forgiveness, and compassion, compassion, and empathy, and gratefulness, and gratitude. Uh, if we can just practice these principles and remember to be joyful whenever possible and laugh as much as we can. This is some of the best medicine for the heart. I look forward to the Community Center Lecture coming up next week. And for you early birds, I'll see you on Instagram tomorrow.